Welcome back. Go to the planar tracker node and press shift space. Find the camera shape node and adjust the settings to your liking. For this scene it just needs to be relatively subtle. Therefore bring the X and Y deviation, overall strength and speed down to your liking. Next add a flicker addition node after the camera shake. Adjust the settings to your liking, I brought the range and speed down for this. As an alternative and free way of applying some VHS effects you can download a VHS overlay. There are plenty available for free on the internet. After the flicker addition node, add a displace node. Bring in your VHS overlay footage and connect to the displace node. Go to the inspector and change the type to XY refraction. Then adjust the X and Y refraction values to your liking. You should see some glitch damage start to appear on your video. Side note, when you bring in additional video media, Fusion will usually treat this as starting at frame 1 of the video and play it for as long as the Fusion composition is in length. If the clip you bring in is longer the remainder will not be played. If it is shorter it will stop. If you select the new media node and go to the inspector, where the video is too short you can set this to loop to just play the video through again. You can also set a trim position so the video will play at an in point that you set rather than the default beginning of the video clip. In this case I want to trim the beginning because in the VHS overlay it prints the word play. Bring a merge node after your displace node and then merge the new media in file into the merge. The displace node is using the media to apply the refraction and warping, and the merge node is then applying the actual video of the damage above the clip. Make sure to change the apply mode to screen in the merge node in the inspector. Note, if your VHS overlay clip is a different size resolution to your main timeline settings you may need to apply a transform node and zoom in to ensure coverage of the entire screen. Just add a transform node after the VHS overlay media in node and adjust accordingly. You should now have a, relatively, creepy video. There is one more part where I will tackle sound and the glitching effect. Please like and subscribe.